So if you've been following along, we just added an Anna block to our Genesis 3 female character. And what we're going to do in these next couple of tutorials is go over a few of the features of Animate 2 that will help us clean up this animation, make it look a little bit better. So the first thing we want to go over is animation layers. This is an important feature of Animate 2. So with our Genesis 3 female right here selected, hit this plus sign. That's going to add a subtract. And with this selected, let's go ahead and add an empty Anna block by either right clicking, add empty Anna block, or just clicking right here. Uh, let's do it three seconds so it covers this span. And then to line these two Anna blocks up, let's take the playhead to the end of the top Anna block, select this one, and let's cut it right here. Let's go ahead and delete this one. And then with this, you see if you drag it out to repeat it, it's still three seconds long. So let's take it back down to here and let's hit crop. That way if you drag it out to repeat it again, it repeats right here. One of the best ways we're going to make this look better is fixing these hands. The hands look very mannequin-like. I mean, nobody walks around with their fingers spread like that straight out. So let's grab our right hand here and zoom in. And with our subtract selected, let's go into keyframe mode. You have to be in keyframe mode if you want Animate 2 to be controlling what's going on. Otherwise, it's going to be making keyframes on the timeline. So at frame 1, let's take our right hand, bring up posing, go to hands, and let's go to pose control. Uh, what I usually do, there's a number of different ways you can do this. What I usually do is just bring up the either the chop, brings the fingers together, and then bring up grasp a little bit to bend the fingers. You can try different ways of maybe bringing down spread, maybe bringing up fist a little bit, but that way it already looks a lot more natural. So let's do that on the left hand as well. Let's bring up chop and bring up grasp. So there you can see both hands are in more of a natural position. And if you go through, watch the animation, it's already looking a lot better. So let's take it a step further and let's uh, animate her arms moving a little bit more. So let's go out of keyframes, select Genesis 3 female and add another layer. Let's do the same thing, add an empty Anna block. So let's select her right forearm here, and then with the subtract selected, let's go into keyframe mode right here, or double click. And at frame zero here, we're gonna want to create a keyframe. So you can hit right here, and to make sure we've got the right bone making a keyframe. I usually like to give it a little bit of movement because that automatically creates a keyframe. So let's go into parameters and right here in bend, let's just hit plus and then minus back to where it was and you can see that it has definitely made a keyframe right here. So let's scrub forward to about this point in her walk cycle and let's give it a little bit more bend just to make it look like her arm is swinging forward and then what we're gonna do is let's go back to the first keyframe let's click on the value and with that highlighted we're gonna copy it and then let's take the playhead to near the end of the walk cycle let's click on the value again and paste that value hit enter. That way it's going to loop seamlessly. Let's take a look at it. See that gives her arm a little bit more swing. Go through and do that with the other arm as well. 
And let's go ahead and click on all these and drag them out so they will loop. Let's zoom out. Let's go to the end of the loop here on all these and we can see how our animation did. So that is looking good. So go ahead, go in, make some more subtracts, make some Ana blocks, use the keyframes to add blinks, to add head movement, and whatever you want. It really adds a lot of life to your animation.